we were living up here and it's sunny most of the time and um, we felt rather than just getting baked by it we should actually be using it so that was one side of it we thought we were in a good position to use it uh, and the other is just generally um, kind of we're adopt advanced technology and that's kind of things I do so I'm a technologist and I like to stay at the leading edge of things. The other thing is I used to have a very low electricity bill then I got an electric hot tub and that went oh that's actually fairly expensive to run <laughs> so part of it was that I didn't want to feel guilty about leaving my hot tub on. Yeah so we we put in an array that was oversized for what we needed at the time because we we're mostly based on propane up here um, and so around the time we put it in we went and bought electric appliances so we switched most of our consumption out of propane to solar so we're roughly in balance now uh, we're also interested in electric cars and um, we're on the list for a Nissan Leaf at that point we'll need probably more electricity but we just built a garage so we can we have more roof space to put electric on I say so get the monitoring system so you can see what it's doing. I mean just have it up there and then you wait every month to see what your bill looks like. You're sort of running blind. The green's what's generated and the red's what we're using. So you can see this is the morning, the sun comes up and this is a perfect sunny day. Right? And then uh, the red is this overnight and then during the day we, you know, this is us using hot water in the morning. There's always a spike for the showers to refill the hot water. And then this is a fairly high level of use during the day.